Hi, uh, Gemini. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, for those of you that have seen some of my videos, I really want to welcome you back and thank you for your feedback. Whether it's thumbs up, thumbs down, a quick comment, positive or negative, it doesn't matter to me because all things for the greater good uh, of source and universal energy. We're just trying to really find some stuck energies, help people out, and get some hidden messages for tarot. This time around, the reading is mid-month. It's going to be for the last two weeks of February as we coast out of February. We're going to ask Tarot, what are the messages for uh, Gemini for the last two weeks of February in 2017? What are the messages for Gemini in the last two weeks of February 2017? This is it for Gemini 2017? Tarot's already, already. Okay, and I'm doing that because it's a bit of a shorter month here and... Uh, this one might seem important here. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Let's leave that in the back of our mind right now. Or, or, or do we? Nope. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. So it's not going to be a secret. It's not going to be a secret. That's It came up. It's the top card of the deck. And for those that have seen my videos, you know I always lay that top card of the deck down in that crown crown energy position. So we got a little something to go on. We get, we're getting hints here. Oh, look at this Ten of Cups. Look at it. It's beautiful. It is awesome. I really like that, Gemini. I think energies have really been coagulating here. Like, And by coagulating, I mean like they've been like melding or meshing into like a more like promising thing. Okay? So that Ten of Cups is really good. Which is really confusing me as a reader because as I flipped over the bottom of the deck, I got Three of Swords. Okay. What's going on, Tarot? You've given me a Ten of Cups and you're giving me a Three of Swords for Gemini. And we were just talking about the feeling of like energies kind of melding, everything coming together. But this is showing more duality and more strife in the overall energy. But this is what's coming in from crown, from, from source into your being. So I think for those of you that might be experiencing this Three of Swords type energy right now, and I'll explain it, I guess, because not everybody knows. A lot of you have received enough readings by now to know what Three of Swords is. But for those of you brand new, Three of Swords energy is anguish. It's, um, you can see it, right? It's a heartbreak. It can mean betrayal. It can mean a lot of things that lean to that, like, oh, somebody done somebody wrong song, Okay. So that's Three of Swords. And Ten of Cups energy, um, I normally don't just blandly give the explanation of the cards, but I'm feeling the need to do so for some brand new uh, people that have clicked the button on the interweb. Ten of Cups energy is domestic bliss. Desk, de, it's beautiful. Ten of Cups is almost the exact opposite of Three of Cords. It means for people that have found their twin flames, people that have found their soulmates, People that have found purpose through love energy, expansion and progression, uh, and creation. These are the, 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 this is what source energy wants uh, for the majority of people that have come through their paths of learning and circumstance and are now in their, their paths of manifestation. So these are really two opposing energy, the Three of Swords, Ten of Cups. Like... If you were out playing Texas Hold'em, you would fold this hand, right? There's no possible way you can connect this. It doesn't make any sense. So, um, we're going to have to look at some of these other chakra house energies uh, to find out what's really going on with this Three of Swords. My feeling is, is that we're looking at a very progressive week of this into this. So, resolved disputes uh, is the intuitive feeling that I'm going on. We're going to leave the Three of Swords off to the side. We're going to keep the Ten of Cups there because normally, for those of you that have checked out my readings before, that card remains a mystery as we work our way up. But Tarot said, no, not this time because my, my big fat floppy fingers flip the, the fickle card right off the top of the deck. Okay, and here we go. Uh, in your root chakra energy, we have Nine of Wands. Uh, Aquarius had this as well in this position, you guys. Um, and this, this, what I got from that feeling in Aquarius is similar to what I have here for you. Uh, this speaks to health and work-life balance. Work-life schedules um, not being in accordance are not giving you enough time to relax. This a uh, beautiful lady in this card is depleted. Her energy is running out. So it's almost like the, the sands in the hourglass have almost all come all the way down 
and it's going to need to be like changed over. Something's going to need to happen uh, as you draw close to the end of a cycle. But it's showing a bit of an imbalance of the energies and a little bit of uh, an overall trapped feeling. Um, and I think this could be due to time management. And I think this could be due to depleted energies from something that we're not letting go of. Something that we're focused a little bit too narrow on and unwilling to let go of. It's not, it doesn't mean that there's denial or an unwilling to accept something in this. It's just a lack of discipline in being able to move forward. So you're going to really notice this uh, in terms of your digestive health um, and cardiovascular health. I would suggest for a lot of you that might be kind of feeling stuck. Physical activity is going to be coo good. Like uh, if your streets aren't too icy in the northern hemisphere, go for a jog, go for a run. Um, you know, go to the jungle gym or tra take your kids to the tramp trampoline park or something, right? Let's get that heart rate up and going to check in with ourselves and make sure that we're doing well. Um, you know, other things, if you've got intuitive sense of uh, things that you're lacking in your diet, um, let's let's get back to, to some good hard stuff. If you're on a budget, you might not be feeling like you're eating as well as you should be, or maybe you're eating out at restaurants too much, too much sauces, too much processed food, things like that. This is a clear sign to get away from that for a while. Go back to basics. Let's get some good information coming in from, from Gaia, from, from good like earth energy. Okay, and world reverse in... Uh, in your creativity, creative areas. So this is showing me that there is there is a need to become one with that which you are trying to put forward in the world. Um, Gemini is a sign of duality, is a sign of split energy. It is almost like inherent of that moving to that, like the two things being on opposite sides. And this world card really speaks of it. It's it's kind of like the negative aspects or traits of your sign, Gemini, they're not terrible. They're not horrible, but they can be really tough to ground and get uh, corrected and working for you just for an overall better feeling. This um, 21 major reverse here is showing me that there needs to be more, more understanding that you are the... You are the creator here. You are the creative energy. You are the source energy that puts forward everything from truth to environment to relationships, everything around you. It all begins with you. It all starts with you. And I think some of you are coming to a realization of that happening this month. Um, being in year one, uh, going in through a, a larger global awakening, uh, especially here in the West, um, but you know, things that people in the East have like, look at the colors coming through here on this. This is really speaking to me of, of some of you really taking these steps in these spiritual awakenings. So if some of you have been going, going, going to yoga for fitness and you're kind of questioning, well, what's the point? I'm like, I'm still trying to shake those last five pounds. Like maybe the hidden message here is like yoga is meant for actually more than just like looking good in yoga pants. It's for it's really to open up and, and to become fully awake of what the universe wants you to do and the directions it wants you to take. So with this world card and these heavy hitting pips in three and ten, I think what we're doing here is we're coming to realizations. We're creative we're creatively in like interpreting information from our environments and then actually like drawing greater intuition from that. So if you can wrap your mind around that, th then take that and run with it. Um, if you can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, two of Pentacles in the gut instinct. Okay, wow, this one is kind of interesting here. Uh, be careful of spending too much energy on things that aren't worth your time. You know what these things are. Gut energy speaks to things that you know. But God, like solar plexus also speaks to your willpower and your discipline. So here we go. This again goes into, okay, are the resources that I'm putting out uh, coming back and not leading to um, my, the best possible path for me? Um, are, are the things that I'm doing in my life not really truly fulfilling? Like they may be in the moment, um, but you know, several hours or a couple days later, they might not to be. And then these resources have been somewhat depleted. So 
with this two of pentacles i'm going to say here let's uh let's watch our spending let's get into health and let's uh invest in ourselves and this could be anything this could be new clothes that make you feel good this could be uh like shopping locally like buying organic food uh like when these ships are coming in right these are more like um it doesn't mean like oh fortune or like oh like for some of you in business that could mean that right but this is more so like this awareness and this awakening these are the kind of now the active steps that we're going to do this is like okay i'm low in b3 i'm gonna go and instead of like buying that double cheeseburger i'm gonna go buy a bottle of b love niacin to, to help absorb you know all the all the good nutrition right this almost speaks of people in this awakening process and this gut instinct and this kind of energy that could be going through like some cleanses like physical like detox uh things as well in this two of pentacles speaks of health to me and again in this gut instinct position so we'll see if we got any swords coming up here but health is definitely personal health is definitely something that can take that into that right whether it's just internally or whether it is in our relationships um for those of you that are in relationships i believe that this is really going to be a time of of reconciliation and clearing up uh things that we were uncertain about through communication right and here we go it's here in your heart the magician wonderful wonderful to have number one major in your heart right this is it this is the realization of that your happiness is manifest by what you do where you go who you are what you say everything around you right so this magician here in this in this is the catalyst so you're going to be like maybe taking some of this advice you're going to be picking up on things around you and then you're going to be um feeling that within your being you're going to be feeling physical changes gemini uh this week and i don't know what for that some of you like could mean i a possibility some of you might be like uh with first child like in the womb so that, that those those kind of energies that are coming for you and there are others that may be like nearing the end like for mature listeners like in that end of reproductive cycle like coming to terms with like those hot flashes and and those feelings and and those physical sensations that occur during that time of menopause um but but it's really saying to like go into your being go into your heart and 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 try and become one with that try try and and find that position of what makes you feel good right so and it's showing here that your the the world is your oyster i think is how that saying goes um but it's showing you here that new doors are going to be opening with these two cards up here together like this this is showing to me of opening doors not there's nothing being like oh old doors need to close uh, other than maybe like self-improvement like like getting rid of no what no longer serves you but you always have a choice to like enjoy a, a large pizza if you want to but you, you just might not be doing it. this is sorry <laughs> open doors uh with the magician and this world card so but this isn't a light door this isn't just like a screen door like or like a little bedroom door that you could kick open this is like a big heavy like steel girded like gateway door this is a heavier dutier type stuff this is stuff where you're like pulling back dead bolts and like uh getting a chair out under for the doorknob and clearing out all the muck and the mire that's in front of it because this door that is opening for you is going to lead to brand new manifesting energies i'd be interested to see if the empress is going to show up uh maybe in march or maybe here right right away um but this is showing that we're on we're bordering on some of these manifesting uh capabilities some of you learning the secret of like oh i am the source i am the truth of what i put forward and what the universe brings into my life the goodness and the abundance that source energy can provide for you starts here and it starts in the heart and it starts in your creativity so this is the door i really see opening for a lot of you gemini these are positive positive cards this is energy that you are able to reach out grab ground and put it in your core to really um make your life even more than what it already is i always want to give a shout out to my mom here because she's a gemini and she i won't talk about it. this is about you but i just want to give her a shout out um because 
this is like really good creative energy. This is like almost bringing a tear to my eye uh, for those of you that are really like in that good place of emotion with like first first child. There's joy and there is abundance coming for you in this magician in Sacred Heart. Like I'm like almost crying now. Okay. <laughs> It's crazy. It's the tarot and the empath, empath, intuitive nature. It can like really take its toll. But look here, sun card reverse in personal truth. Okay, so let's talk about our environment now for a little bit. Let's talk about doing the things we need to do and saying the things we need to say to the people around us um, to ensure uh, and solidify our environment, our our homes, our uh, yards, our property, our our families, our children. Um, let's, and our new path, let's, let's, uh, facilitate our environment to help that. And that could be like, um, improving home improvements. This could be, um, we're even, I see some worldly travel with this coming up combination. We got a 19 and then into the 21. Like these are good cars to have Gemini. These are good cards to have. Um, and it's, it's not going to be all right away. I think they're just a little bit reversed here because this is like a longer term reading. This is a 14 day reading. But some of these energies are going to be lasting in through to spring um, for you. All right. This is this is kind of like cleaning up the things around us. This is tying up loose ends. This is, uh, you know, putting putting your best foot forward in situations that before you were uncertain of getting in really like involved in these fields of uncertainty allowing uncertainty pr to promote creation allowing uncertainty to provide infinite potential and possibility within yourself okay that's what i get from that sun card in that personal truth uh space for you all right <laughs> the moon oh my goodness so <laughs> yes this is really solidifying this for some of you that are dev de desiring this domestic bliss to like occur and to like be here as soon as possible here, um, this card here is showing that we we really need to be ready to accept it when it does come. When when these reconciliations and when these new creations occur and these family situations really begin to take root and begin to grow, it needs to show. It shows here that we need to like cut cut through um, our own spiritual understandings we and again going back to this we may be looking at putting away things that no longer serve us as this goes to social conditioning some of you might have been indoctrinated into a particular like religious type beliefs um, or rules or dogma that now are conflicting with the new openness that you found in your life i'm not saying like disregard like uh, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, or anything like that. I'm just saying you have to be watch what's what has come through in your childhood, or maybe even at the present time, from spiritual teachers that have got you conditioned to to think a certain way or believe a certain way. When really there's more to see than what you what you're looking at. So the lone wolf uh, in the pack is always the last. He's the last. When wolves travel in packs, the three up front are like. The, the elders, they're like the ones like if they're, they're going to like uh, kick the bucket, they, they do so. Then the rest travel in behind and then the, this alpha wolf comes up in the back of the herd because uh, in secret it's actually been way out in front, ahead of the game while the others haven't been looking behind them. And I get a sense like that this is, this is you in a way and, and going back to this social conditioning and some of these dogmatic things that you may be letting go of for personal health, you've seen the forefront of where that path takes you. And now you're like lone wolfing it and finding these, this inner strength and this new direction from being at the back of the pack here in, in these spiritual awakenings and understandings, you know, and coming through. And you're going to be receiving a lot of blessings from, from being the person that people are going to look to and say, oh my goodness, this person has, there's something different. There's something new about them. There's something uh that i want there's some what what did that person i'll have what he's having please and thank you kind of thing right because this is cutting through um disillusionment here when this card is in the the spiritual visioning and spirit quest and and uh soul visioning uh third eye type type stuff this is cutting through disillusionment this is cutting through that social conditioning the things that 
breaking your heart before that you were unclear of that you just didn't couldn't see an open ending to like that felt so like entrapping and, and brought you anguish um these things are going away because you are questing you are getting the world and the magician working for it and the moon is showing oh my goodness here we go now now we're finally seeing the truth for all of the i call them lies but all of the the things that were said and spread in your past you're now being like i can't believe i believed that for that long and it's led to this much anguish and like pain and suffering in the words of buddha but, but yes that's what it is right so and now it's opening yourself up so that this abundance this domestic bliss energy that source wants you to have can actually come down and effectively come into your life when we go into march i would like to see this come like down into here into sacred heart or into grounding that would be a clear indication to me that you guys are like really on the right path following the right steps and taking uh taking the, the the right things into your being to to change this environment around you so this has been a reading of transformation gemini and awakening and i really like these readings and i really feel like these readings are going to resonate with like 98.9 percent of the gemini's turning in so for those of you that are feeling stuck this is a simple letting go of social conditioning. This is a simple letting go of things that no longer... And look at the rewards. I'm like, the world, the magician, the sun, the moon, ten of cups. It's all right there. This energy is going bye-bye. Okay, and speaking of bye-bye, Gemini, I don't want to run these too long. I hope you have an excellent rest of February. We'll get ready for your March readings. We'll get ready for abundance, joy, blessings, uh, and good food to come into our lives. Okay, we'll see you next time.